Hello, Riverwood Church. Pastor Paul here with the weekly video update. First off, let me highlight what's happening this Sunday. Then I'll have our guests share with you as well. But this Sunday is a celebration Sunday. And that means that, among other things, we will be uh, uh, observing the Lord's Supper, communion. And that's uh, also Father's Day. So we'll be celebrating fathers with, with uh, donuts for dad sun, uh, this Sunday. And uh, Brittany Philkins will be telling her uh, personal story of her relationship with her late father, Dan. We'll have a global outreach update. And uh, one thing I'd like to highlight, uh, you know, you're a generous hearted church. You've shown that by by giving the funds for the place, new place set for the children. And there's another area of need that perhaps some of you will be led to give toward. And that's the benevolent fund. You know, uh, sometimes that fund um, is not needed for the longest time. And then it is. And now there's several needs that are coming up. And um, that uh, if you'd like to give toward that, you can designate it in the offering, benevolent, or uh, bring it to the church office. And that will help um, some of the people within our church family and circle that uh, have needs. And they'll be thankful for your generosity. All right. First, uh, Rick Johnson, uh, chairman of the search committee. Tell us an update of the pastoral search process. Thank you, Paul. As Paul said, uh, my name is Rick Johnson. I'm uh, chairman of the Riverwood Pastor Search Team. I just wanted to give you a little update on what's been going on. The search team has been meeting for the past year. Uh, we've been meeting two to three times a month. Um, unfortunately, there has not been a lot of candidates uh, that have uh, come forward to the church uh, through Converge. Um, and unfortunately, as of right now, we have no candidates online. Uh, but we are working with um, Converge to uh, see if they have any other possible candidates that will match with us. Uh, another possibility is we're going to go out and re-advertise our position again. I would like to just say that this is not uncommon to have a, a search last uh, one to two years. And so I just ask that you pray for the search team uh, and our patience, but more importantly, our discernment and our peace. All right, thanks, Rick. And uh, Mark Pearson, Chairman of the Elder Board. Hi, I just wanted to share a couple of spiritual experiences I had this week. I've been kind of obsessing over the fruit of the Spirit lately, and I've just been kind of wondering in my head, where's the joy, where's the peace? And I just had, uh, when I found out Monday night that a potential candidate uh, was withdrawing from consideration from our uh, pastor search uh, process, I just, when I got the news, I just got an overwhelming sense of calm. And I just got an overwhelming sense that it wasn't the right person, it wasn't the right time, but that God had a plan for us. And it was very calming to me and it was very um, hopeful. Uh, and then last night, I was in my basement playing the drums, just singing at the top of my lungs because uh, nobody was home. And The neighbors did call, but... <laughs> and I just was filled with this just absolute joy. And I just, I actually cried. And I, I just had this overwhelming sense that uh, Riverwood has a really bright future, and I was super hopeful and super joyful, and I was just absolutely washed over by the Spirit, and I just wanted to share that. Yeah, thanks, Mark. And, you know, uh, I, I can testify for Mark as a guy who cares deeply about the church, and Paul described having anxiety for the church is one of the things he felt. But, you know, he his, his experience demonstrates Philippians 4, 7, 6, and 7. It says, have no anxiety about anything. But in prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God that passes all understanding will keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Thank you for demonstrating that, Mark. And uh, please continue to pray with us. And uh, please uh, join us to celebrate together this Sunday. We'll see you then.